what up? It's your boy Chef Hart here, and you're tuned into another episode of Cooking with Hart. So, so before we get this started, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, to be sure to be tuned in and turn on those post notifications to be notified whenever I post a video. So today, I'm gonna do something for my Cajuns, shout out. Inspiration was from Chef Isaac Troop to do a shrimp po' boy. Now, the word po' boy sandwich was originated from back in the day. It was used for po' boys, basically made out of uh, French bread as well as ham cheese, whatever. But of course, as times got older, things got different, they started using different substitutes for it. So you can make a po' boy out of anything. But today we're gonna do a grilled shrimp po' boy. I know, I know, you guys are probably like, fried, we need fried! But I'm like, I'm kinda trying to do a little health thing, be a little bit better, so I'm gonna do something grilled. So, let's get to it. So what am I doing right now? I'm chopping lettuce! R.I.P. Goku. if y'all ain't seen Demon Slayer, go see it. Now what I'm doing is slicing these tomatoes. By the way, you fellas already know, tomatoes are a healthy fruit, helps you prevent prostate cancer. And yes, that's right, I said fruit. If you know, you know. If you don't, do some research. Now it's time for our slaw. So we're gonna slice our onions up. That's right, look at my hands, moving quick. Then we're gonna actually cut the tomatoes. I sliced the outer edge of the tomatoes to give it that nice, even slice. Then I added some parsley as well, I mixed that up. Now back to the tomatoes, or not tomatoes, the onions. If you want to get the bitter bite off the tomatoes, onions soak them in water for about a good five minutes and then strain them i also added one tablespoon of cherry vinegar one tablespoon of horseradish and also salt and pepper you may ask well chef hard what's the difference between cherry vinegar and balsamic vinegar and regular vinegar well cherry vinegar is also aged and gives you that rich and nutty taste trust me you're gonna need it mayo for fat mustard for vinegar tasting garlic powder for of course seasoning chili powder and cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat Plus, paprika for the smokiness, of course. Then we got the Cajun season, because you know, we got a po' boy. Equals this, baby. Rim you lot. Ignore the label. Cute jazz hands. Boom! All right, now I'm going to saute our shrimp beans. Because <laughs> we can't get the shrimp without the po' boy. All right, my man. Back quiet. So, we had our olive oil, then our butter. So, we did the olive oil first, so the butter won't burn. Because olive oil helps butter not burn. BT dubs, each different kind of oil has a different smoke point. Then we added about a tablespoon of red chili flakes, and then we add about a tablespoon of our minced garlic and get that going. And once that's come to a nice, sweet, aromatic flavor, ooh, we, we gonna add our shrimp and saute for about uh, two minutes on each side, three minutes on each side, because shrimp does cook pretty fast. All right, now, I ain't rich, but we gonna make this Edgar Allen po' boy, you feel me? So we gonna add the sauce, the tomatoes, the lettuce, we gonna build this up with shrimp. Right, then we're gonna add the slaw on one side, of course, because the other side, some people don't like. So I ain't gonna say no name, <clears throat> Masher. And then we're gonna top it off with some more sauce. We're gonna try to close this bad boy. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Boom, po' boy. So thick, you can't even close this, John. Now, half is like with stuff on it, other half isn't, because I share. So some people don't like onions and tomatoes, so I help them out. <clears throat> I ain't gonna say no names, Asher. But anyway, so, it's everything that I ever wanted, to be honest with you. You have the bread that's soft, you have the sauce, you have the lettuce, the tomatoes, the refreshingness from the slaw, I call it slaw, but to red, red onions and tomatoes, and you have the shrimp grilled, like I said, for health reasons. Now, forget the talking, I'm gonna just get right into it, because this looks like it's about to be, what's the word the kids say? Bustin'. Bustin'. I'm gonna cut this John. Cut the camera. It's refreshing, the slaw, the, the texture from the bun, same on the feet. My mouth looks a mess, but this is great. Like you have the tomatoes that give out the natural juices from it. Everything here is it. This is basically a po' boy. Now you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. For my Cajuns or people from Louisiana from the South, if I'm wrong, holla at me in the comments and let me know. But y'all tuned in an episode of Cooking It With Heart. We out. Peace.